day everyone, getting level X11 here. If you watched my previous video, you saw that I eh, will be doing a colorless... I forgot what it was called already. Um, colorless contest or something. Um, where you can only use colorless Pokemon in a deck um, of 40 cards. And only four of those Pokemon can be non-colorless. <clears throat> so... Um, I was just throwing together random ideas, and um, I think I came up with something that I will probably run. Um, of course, it's going to be edited because the event is about a month away. Um, Triumph, it will be in <laughs> during that time, so I mean, this deck could just change completely. Um, but this is what I have for now, and uh, I like the idea. I've got three Ambipom G, obviously for the Donk. Um, because I'm running co double colorless, and I mean, who doesn't want to dunk? Three Kecleon from Rising Rivals. These guys, I didn't realize, but they are amazing. Their Poke Body is called Colorful Body, Colorful Body, and it says Kecleon's type is, and it lists every single type. So he benefits from Special Darks, he benefits from Special Metals, and he hits for a weakness on anybody as long as they have a weakness which is absolutely amazing so we've got three of him three hoot hoot three noctowl I'm using these noctowl in combination with copycat and judge to get my hand to be the same size as my opponent's hand because if I do that it's extra sensory attack does 40 plus 40 which is 80 these are also pretty good draw power if I get one or two out on the field I'm drawing two more cards per turn, but I do have to be careful because it's a 40 card deck. I'm running a 1-1 one, one Lantern Prime just because, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of scared of Don Fan. Um, yeah, I don't want Don Fan to just run through my deck, so I mean Powerful Spark will be pretty good because I've got some double colorless out and all that stuff. Um, I mean he automatically does 40 plus 10 more damage for each energy attached, so he already does 70 uh, with this, times 2 weakness for Donphan, I mean that's a one shot, unless it's got a belt, and then hopefully I'll have more energy on it, or on other Pokemon to add to its damage. Um, yeah, Lantern Prime is just a tech, That's and that's two of my non-colorless Pokemon. My other two are Sableye, they're good starters for donking and because of impersonate it lets me get set up with collector or babies um yeah it's just a pretty good starter i'm running one baby search because i've got enough shuffling and stuff in my deck that i don't really need to search that much um three copycats for the use of knock towel and just hand refreshment to judge disruption and knock towel and hand refreshment <laughs> two Pokemon Collector. The majority of my deck is basics, um, so this really helps just being able to get set up. Two Energy Exchanger, um, because I might need Double Colorless or Special Dark for Kecleon or Special Metal for Kecleon. Uh, yeah. Two Expert Belts, just damage boosting. Three Special Darks. Um, I really love the idea of using Special Darks and Special Metals for Kecleon. It's just insane. <laughs> Um, four double colorless. I might cut this down. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I don't know. It seems like everything needs double colorless in my deck. Three special metal, again, for Kecleon. And two lightning energy. Um, I did think while I was testing this deck out, just like running through it, solitaire, just playing it through, that Scizor... Prime. Um, someone can just run a 1-1 one, one Scizor Prime with two Skarmories from Undaunted, and that's their four non-colorless cards. And honestly, they could just rape with that deck. Um, I don't really want to go too mainstream with my deck. Um, I don't want to do Lux Chomp. I don't want to do Machamp. I don't want to do straight Garchomp. If you notice, Garchomp's not even in the deck. Um, I don't want to do that. 
Um, I just I fell in love with Kecleon, honestly. Uh, triple Smash, three colorless energy, ten damage plus flip three coins. This attack does ten damage plus twenty more damage for each heads. And I mean, I should be hitting for weakness on anyone, and I should have a belt on him, and maybe two special metal, two special dark, or something like that. Just boosting damage like crazy and just hitting for weakness every turn. Um, I don't know about this lantern tech. I mean, it's a month away. We'll see what people's ideas are. Sableye's a good start. So, I mean, um, <clears throat> the deck is pretty interesting. Kecleon is awesome. Um, I was just going through all my colorless cards. I just took my stack of colorless cards and just looked through them all. Uh, just thinking of different things. Um, yeah. So, I mean, comment on the deck. Uh, whatever. Uh, give me suggestions, more suggestions. I don't care. Um, this is just what I have so far. It's a month away. I'm not taking it too seriously right now. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know if you guys think of any crazy ideas. That I really want to run something that no one else will see. Like, no one else will even think of. Of course, people are going to find out about Kecleon. They're probably going to run it too. But, I mean, I love it. It's such a good card for this type of challenge. Um, Noctowl's Draw Engine. So, I mean, the deck works on its works within itself. So, just uh, let me know if you guys have any ideas or anything like that. Um, it can only be 40 cards again. So, yeah. Colorless Challenge. This might be my deck. We'll see. Game of the Lux 11 out.